hey guys before starting don't forget to check out this uh, uh, awesome 3d modeling channel on solidworks goes with the name of macbus the link is in the description below so do have a look on this channel and don't forget to subscribe it hey guys and welcome back to another video of spark plug so in this video tutorial uh, we will be doing this exercise and I guess this is our 14th video on exercise video so We will be making this model Fusion 360 and you guys can find the link to download the 2D drawing of this uh, uh, Model in the description below. So do have a look on that link also. So if you guys can uh, see uh, Basically we have here four view and one isometric view which shows that all the edges needs to be given radius of 2 So here's the front view the side view uh, uh, the the top the front view is here the side view the top view and the back view and one thing uh, one dimension is missing in this drawing so uh, if you just zoom in out here the distance from this edge to this edge is actually 70 mm so I forget to uh, you know dimension this particular area so hope you guys will uh, compromise with that so let's start uh, by starting we will be making this outer profile then in the second part of the video we will be making this dome like structure and in the third part we will be making these uh, slotted holes so first of all we will be making this uh, uh, this uh, platform as you guys can see the dimension is 150 mm right from this edge to this edge and thickness is uh, yeah 10 mm the thickness is given here 10 mm and the radius here is 75 this is 75 this is 105 to 105 plus 175 is equal to 180 so this is 150 this dimension is 180 so for that switch into workspace new workspace click on design and on the top plane draw line and draw a rectangle uh, you guys uh, I could have opted for okay let's delete it I'm going to use the rectangle instead delete this and draw a rectangle like this and give this dimension as 150 and here press D again and this one will be 180 now the radius the outer radius of these two edges is 75 75 and the inner one is is given here as you guys can see the thickness is 10 mm that means the outer radius will be of 40 mm so press fillet select these uh, this edge and give the radius here 40 again fillet this point 40 and here the radius is 75 so again press fillet this is 75 again fill it and 75 and press ok now you may finish the sketch now after finishing I am going to extrude it up to a distance of say new component up to a distance of 10 mm and press ok the distance is given here right here now what I am going to do is I am going to make uh, this part so uh, uh, like earlier I have said the dimension the distance from this edge to this edge is 70 mm and it's missing in the drawing so what I'm going to do I'm going to draw a circle on top of this face and then I'm going to extrude it up to a distance of 40 mm the 50 minus 10 is 40 mm then I will be giving this radius 15 and radius 50 and then we will be making it the hollow portion inside so for that click on sketch and center again click on uh, circle and draw a circle of diameter 70 mm now what I'm going to do as you guys can see from the top view basically this circle uh, this dome is concentric with all the outer radius so for that what I'm going to do is we will be more making the using the concentric constraint select this circle and this edge and this circle now it's automatically will get concentric with this radius so now again finish the sketch and extrude it up to a distance of 40 mm press enter now for the radius as you guys can see the radius here both are 15 mm so press F for fillet click on these two edges and flip T now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create the, the hollow portion inside it and for that I'm going to make the revolve cut command so for that I'm I will be uh, using the mid plane for construction so I didn't made my uh, 
geometry the model from the origin so that's why i'm going to construct a mid plane between uh, select the first this side and the this side so we have a, a new plane right in between our model so again click on this like this and to make this profile what i'm going to do is you guys can see the thickness here is 10 that means uh, we don't have to make the entire sketch we only have to uh, offset it up to a distance of 10 mm so for that go to create go to project and go to intersect now select the body and select this body so we will have our intersection curve generated now once done you may uh, hide the body for now and go to front view again now press l for line and right in the center draw a line like this and we, do, we don't need this one and this one like this now delete this line also now again offset select on this and offset it up to a distance of minus 20 like this Uh, oh sorry the offset distance is actually 10 so let me just change it to minus 10 like this now once done what I'm going to do is press T for trim and trim this line and this line this is also don't uh, I don't recommend you uh, you may or you may not uh, trim it so now what I'm going to do is press L for line and join this point up to this point so we have a closed sketch like this okay so the, a sudden changes just delete this line and press line and right from here join up to this point so we have closed profile actually we, we need to remove this portion not the outer portion so again go to finish the sketch bring back the component we were using and choose revolve and select this profile and the axis will be the center line we have created and the operation will be cut and you press ok now we have our uh, and the portion is hollow from inside now again click on the top plane and now I will be drawing these slots uh, the pockets so for that as you guys can see it's symmetric around the center profile so uh, what I'm going to do is press L for line, draw one line like this and draw one horizontal line from this point like this. Now for this point as you guys can see the thickness here is 10 mm so that means from the center line it's been offset for 5 mm and 5 mm each side. So for that uh, first of all what I'm going to do I'm going to offset the outer profile the thickness is here also the 10 so offset and let's click on curve like this okay I need to project this because we are not uh, project this face like this and now offset this up to a distance of minus 10 and you may delete the circle we don't need this right now now again click on offset offset this line right up to a distance of 5 and offset this line also right up to a distance of minus 5 and again offset this to a distance of minus 5 we, have, uh, we need uh, it to be uh, both sided now once done uh, the radius here is 30 mm as you guys can see the radius is 30 mm this one radius is 10 so now I am going to select the fillet, select these two edges and give the radius of 30 mm. Ok something went wrong. Uh, let me just check in the drawing. Uh, just undo it and the radius here uh, is not actually 30. It's less than 30. Let me just confirm it. What's the actual dimension of this radius? Yeah, so just undo that. What, what actually the problem is? Actually, we have projected it the profile earlier, so that was taking the link. So before giving fillet, just trim these excess line that we don't need here. And now, if I just go to fillet and give it the fillet of 30 mm, it will do our job. 
Now same for the here, press T for trim, trim these two lines and press F for fillet, uh, not F actually just fillet and that is the dimension is actually the radius here is 10 and for that radius we need to create a circle and the circle radius is 15 mm so from the center uh, press a circle of 30 like this press T for trim and just trim the inner portion like this Now for this portion also just bring back the circle press T and remove the outer portion so that we have we have another uh, close body here also again go to fillet choose this as stem and again for here press T for trim trim these two lines and this is again 10 now we have one close profile here and one here now let me just switch off the body yeah so one profile is closed here and one other one here so now i'm going to click on the create go to mirror command and select the object as these uh, the close profile we have just created select all these edges select this and the mirror line and press ok Now we have our closed body, you may finish the sketch. Now again go to extrude, select this profile. And bring back the component and extrude cut it like this and press OK. Wait for the system to response and this is how it will look like after the extrusion. Now the next step is to maintain the make the base platform and the circle. So the die of the middle shaft is 20 mm right from here to here at up to a distance of 80 mm. So 80 minus 10 that means 70 mm. So what I'm going to do is from this profile I am going to draw a circle of die 20 and I will extrude it up to a distance of 70 mm and press enter now again click on on this space now uh, at from uh, right from the bottom view as you guys can see the bottom view is here the, the platform is 60 mm wide the thickness is 10 mm is given here and uh, yeah, the radius here is 30 mm so for that i am going to draw a line right from the center like here and draw a line from this point to this point actually I am drawing a rectangle and give this dimension as 60 divided by 2 that means 30 and this will be 10 like this and again press C for circle and this dia is 60 mm so make it 60 like this and press L for line right from there to make it tangent click on mirror select these two lines select the middle line and press enter we have our close sketch like this and select the extrude command select all these profiles and the operation would be join and the distance would be 10 mm downwards and press ok now we only need to uh, join it so for that click on this sketch uh, click on slice and rectangle from this point to this point press T for dimension and give this a dimension of 10 and finish the sketch now again go to extrude select the extent at two object and select this face and press ok now this is uh, now all has been completed now the only thing is uh, to give the radius on all edges the radius of 2 so for that again click on fillet and select all the edges by dragging your cursor and press 2 and enter ok uh, something is I think wrong here 
I don't know why, but it's not taking. So let's try again. Just I think one. I don't know why it's not taking. It's actually when I was working on the trial one actually. So it took there, but I don't know why it's not taking uh, the radius here. As you guys can see, we have our radius here. So might be some software issue. So I think you guys can uh, give the radius. Uh, that's not a difficult task. So hope you guys will enjoy the video. Please comment any queries and suggestions for my upcoming videos. Till then, have a good day.